everyone. God bless you today. Last week we were able to look at the first of our pilgrimage places, Fatima. Today we'd like to follow up on that little exploration and to look at the two remaining shrines that we'll be visiting. Santiago de Compostela in Spain, where the relics of St. James are, and also Lourdes, which is where Our Lady appeared to St. Bernadette. Jesus, Jesus. Santiago de Compostela is one of the most famous places of pilgrimage in all of Christianity. It is most noted for holding the relics of St. James the Apostle, where his body is buried. Among the Twelve Apostles, Scripture tells us that there were actually two named James, James the son of Zebedee and also brother of John, and James the son of Alphaeus. The Apostle buried here is the first of these two named James. He was a fisherman like his brother John, who left everything, as the Gospel tells us, to follow Jesus as soon as he was called by the Lake of Gennesaret one day. Christian tradition refers to the first James as the greater because of his central place and significant moments in the life of Jesus that most of the other apostles did not experience. For example, the restoration of life to Jairus' daughter, Jesus' transfiguration on Mount Tabor when he appeared in glory with Moses and Elijah, and finally, his agony in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before he died. Only Peter, James, and John were present for all these three events. After Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven, the church began to grow. Tradition tells us that St. James went to evangelize Spain. He was the first apostle to die as a martyr for the faith in about the year 40 AD by order of King Herod, as the Acts of Apostles tells us. Let us ask St. James to be not afraid to follow Jesus wherever he leads us, whenever he calls our names and reveals his plan for our lives, just as he did on the shore of the Lake of Gennesaret one day to St. James. The last destination on our pilgrimage will be the Marian Shrine of Lourdes, one of the most famous Marian shrines in the world. Like Fatima, Lourdes is the site of a place where Our Lady appeared in history. This time, however, it was to one chosen soul, St. Bernadette Subiru, in the year 1858. At the age of 14, on February 11th, St. Bernadette was out gathering dry wood with her sister Maria and a friend to heat their homes during the chill winter months. Bernadette heard a loud rustling sound like a wind. In front of her, at the back of the grotto, stood Our Lady. This was the first of 18 apparitions that St. Bernadette was blessed to have of Our Lady. Some days Our Lady said nothing and simply prayed the rosary with Bernadette. Other days, she had specific messages to share with her. The heart of her message is as follows. Firstly, to ask the priest to build a sanctuary in that spot for people to come in procession, which as we can see, has been done. Secondly, Our Lady asked Bernadette to wash and bathe in the fountain that Bernadette herself opened. Before Bernadette did this, this fountain did not exist. This was a miraculous fountain that Our Lady allowed St. Bernadette to open. These waters of Lourdes ever since that day have been the source of countless miracles in the Shrine of Lourdes. Two miracles took place even while Our Lady was still appearing to Bernadette. Of course, we know that it is God who heals, but He chooses to do so through the use of this water, with faith from those who believe who use it. Today, these waters are pumped into baths at Lourdes for pilgrims to bathe in, as well as through pipes for pilgrims to obtain and use with faith. Thirdly, Our Lady asked St. Bernadette to pray and offer penances for sinners. Finally, Our Lady revealed that she is the Immaculate Conception. This was the proof that the priests and bishops needed to realize that St. Bernadette truly was seeing Our Lady. This is because four years before the apparitions, Pope Pius IX had declared the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, which teaches that Mary was conceived without original sin. 
Because St. Bernadette was unable to read or write, and she was uneducated in the faith, she never would have been able to know this had it not been revealed to her from heaven. Thus, when she told the priests that Our Lady said, I am the Immaculate Conception, they all knew that this was truly Our Lady who had visited them through St. Bernadette. Know that when we enter those baths of Lourdes, when we enter those healing waters, that all of your intentions, all those promises that Our Lady gave to St. Bernadette, that we will be presenting them to her for you. Whenever we're lighting a candle at the grotto, whenever we're praying there before her, that spiritually you'll be there too. Thank you so much for taking the time to submit your intentions, and we just invite you to continue to think about and to pray about what you would like for us to bring for you in your name on this pilgrimage. Thank you so much. God bless you.